All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about partitions, okay? And uh, we can partition an event into um, you know, countless number of other events, but um, for the sake of this conversation, let's say we have A and um, B, which are a partition of C. Are a partition of event C, okay? Um, they are a partition if um, they, so partition if they are disjoint, oops, um, disjoint, um, and, um, A union B has to be equal to C, okay? So, um, a lot of times, you know, this makes a lot of sense once you draw it out in a Venn diagram. So if this is my sample space, and suppose uh, this is event C, okay, so this is event C, then event A might be um, this part of C, so half of C, this is event A, and then event B would be the other half of C, all right? So this is event B, okay? And of course, you can partition into more than two pieces, but the idea is that each piece needs to be disjoint, so there's no overlap in the pieces in order to be a partition. And then if you um, take the union of all the different pieces, it must equal the total, okay? So uh, let's do an example. Um, suppose if we are rolling a die, um, C is the event that we roll a number less than five. Okay, and suppose A is the event that we roll a one or a three, and B is the event that we roll a two and a four. Okay, um, note that A intersection B, so basically and B, the overlap between these guys, these two events, there's no overlap, right? None of, none of the elements in A are in B. So the intersection is zero, or is in the empty set, okay? So that's definition of disjoint. So we have disjoint sets, and the union of A and B is C, right? Because we have, we have one and three, which is one and three, and then we have two and four, which is two and four. So we've, we have every element of this event C when we do the union. So that's C there. So because of those two things, therefore, um, A and B are a partition of C.